Hey, what's up guys? It's Marty here from Nintendo Dads. Back with another Let's Play video after a nice little hiatus. This time I'm going to be checking out Everspace Stellar Edition for the Nintendo Switch from Rockfish Games. And we want to thank them for sending over this uh, review copy. And the best way I know to describe this game to you is a roguelike Star Fox space exploration game. Uh, and probably the most PC gaming experience on the Nintendo Switch to date. This is an extremely complicated game. It's a beautiful game. It's a lot of fun to play, uh, but it's also extremely complicated. Uh, the control system uh, is extremely varied, and there's just lots of what I might term as fiddly bits for you to uh, deal with. When you start out the game, you're going to go through a simple tutorial that takes around 10 to 15 minutes. It'll teach you all of the controls, and then it will launch you into your first run. Again, it is roguelike, so every time that you play, it's going to be different. Uh, but there is some kind of progression in the game. I'm going to start here with the Colonial Interceptor, which is the um, ship that you start the game with. And one of the things that you'll notice is that you can upgrade your ship with perks uh, and you can actually unlock some of these and you can see I have done a little bit of unlocking uh, in the game so far that just kind of makes things easier. You can, um, you know, set loot bonuses, loot crate bonuses, lucky jump chances. The main thing is, is you want to get into the game and earn as much money as possible because yes, you are eventually going to die and you're going to come back and be able to upgrade your ship and get more bonuses so you'll survive longer next time. Essentially the core elements of any roguelike title. And so here you can select difficulty. You get 25% less credits if you go for easy, 25% more if you go hard, but normal it says the way you're meant to die. So we're going to go into that and jump straight into a run. And we'll, we'll do a run here from start to finish. Now, this game draws a lot of similarities to Starlink already, except there is no um, interplanetary, you know, um, like being able to go down to the planet's surface or anything like that. We've already got some outlaws on us as soon as we come out. Uh, you'll notice up at the top we have light missiles, we have a pulse laser, and I am already getting chewed up here. Welcome to Everspace. This is exactly what the game is like. So we want to stay on the move here while we try to get ready to, to fight these outlaws. Try to find them on the map. And we can uh, take their shields down and then use some missiles as well here. And I'm just going to kind of go into the options and remember these controls just a little bit. So we're thrust forward, thrust backward. I need to find out how to fire my secondary. It's the R button. Fantastic. Some missiles are my secondary, and they are at a premium in this game. But they can help you out when you need it. And there goes one outlaw. Let's pick up some of this scrap. If we can. Boost here. You boost by pressing down the left stick. Controls are pretty simple. Thrust forward with the ZL button. Shoot with the ZR button. Also, you press R to use your secondary. Uh, L is kind of a break or reverse. Y will put you into what is called weapons overdrive mode, which kind of supercharges your weapons. It gives them a little more oomph for fights like this. I should have done in the beginning and once a threat uh, is over and there are different races of course as would be in any uh, you know space exploration game 
is you can um, anger them. That anger will, or that you know, threat will go over to the next level that you want to get to. But really, what we want to do is focus here on uh, this little green beacon, which is a jump to the next area. If you focus on that, a percent will start going up, and you'll just jump ahead to the next place. You can find upgrades, you can find loot, you can get scrap parts, you can do all of that. And uh, you get a nice little map here. I think we'll go with the upper route this time. So we got 75 fuel. You do need to pick up more fuel during the game as well, or you will die. There are lots of ways to die in Everspace. Let's see what we got here. GMB, we got our cars. Now we could just, uh, you know, let them fight it out and jump to the next coordinates. We can go over here, check out that uh, derelict freighter. Okay, well, we've been discovered by our cars. So let's go ahead and start in with them. They are a pretty hostile race in this game, but easily dispatched. And dispatching them can, you know, curry favor with other with other races. So see here, we could choose to attack the GMB light freighter. We are not going to do that because the GMB uh, are kind of like the uh, like. Uh, giant corporation that controls everything in this world which means that they have a lot of clout and a lot of firepower as well these giant shipwrecks what are they colonial fleet warships overwhelmed by okar fighters during the war you will find such wrecks scattered throughout the demilitarized zone so we can go in and explore or just go around take a look just to see if there's anything of interest sometimes there is a little bit of uh, something you can pick up around here you can also press uh, the up arrow on the d-pad to change your weapons Press the down arrow to change your secondary weapons. You can press the left and right to change your other things. Go into uh, first person mode by pressing the X button. Do it without heads up display or with. I, I just prefer this third person uh, a little bit more. So since there's not really anything else to do here, we could you know, blast these asteroids or smaller ones. So you'll see like the, right over here, this blue asteroid. That is one that we can harvest from. Worth going and taking a look. No, that's not one that's going to allow us to harvest. So let's just go ahead and go to the jump point and head into the next little sector here. And sometimes, like you saw in the very first one, it spits you out right in the middle of a dogfight. There's other things that you have to do, little quests and side things that you can do. Um, so the question then becomes, you know, this is on the eShop for the Switch. Should you, uh, should you get it? Should you play it? Uh, if you are a, um, if you're already playing Starlink, I don't know that you should get this game. And one of the main reasons being that uh, I think Starlink does the things that it does a little bit better. 
think that it handles the storyline a little bit better. And of course, it's a roguelike game. It's not going to have that much of a storyline, right? Uh, the storyline is you're, you're surviving. You're taking on all odds. You're, you're getting better. You're improving. There is a little bit of a story to this game. However, uh, I just think that... Uh, I just think that, that uh, Starlink does it better. And see, right there, we're already dead. This is an extremely, extremely difficult game. Uh, there's there's things coming at you from all durations. We lasted 7 minutes and 14 seconds with 8 kills. We were in Sector 1, 735 credits. We do get to keep those, which is good. Uh, and we get to make upgrades with them. And so what we can do is go over here to the perks. And when we get to the perks, you'll notice that, uh, you know, they cost, uh, we could upgrade our hull for 800. We could upgrade our energy capacity. We could upgrade the jump drive. We can upgrade max speed. So again, I think that they're, you know, this is a fine game. I think it is, uh, I, I went into it expecting like a, a very fun arcade style game. And really it ended up being a lot more involved and a little more PC-esque than I like my games to be. Uh, and so it didn't necessarily meet the hype that I wanted it to. I think Starlink does what this game does in a very uh, accessible way and does it better. And so I, I am kind of disappointed by Everspace, but that's not to say that this is a bad game at all. I think if you're looking for a deeper, more rich experience, especially in the roguelike genre, then this is a game for you. It's, pro it's just not a game for me. And so I can't recommend it for myself but if you're looking for a game like that if you're if you're a space aficionado if you're a pc gaming aficionado if you're looking for a deeper more difficult experience on nintendo switch then some space games uh that are out there have yet to offer then this game is for you and you can go buy it on the eShop right now again we want to thank rockfish for sending it over uh just this is one i can honestly say it just in the end was not for me uh but again it may be for you Guys, thanks for watching this review. You can check out all the videos right here on our YouTube channel. And uh, be sure to check out our podcast every Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, anywhere you can get podcasts. And we'll have more news, reviews, and everything else there. For the rest of the Nintendo Dads, this is Marty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.